एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल दोज ऑफ यू हु आर न्यू टू माय चैनल डोंट फॉरगेट टू हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन डाउन बिलो एंड फॉलो मी ऑन इंस्टाग्राम टू नेवर मिस एनी अपडेट्स सो मोस्ट ऑफ अस डोंट इवन थिंक अबाउट व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू डू आफ्टर बीएससी एंड आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग योर अंडर ग्रेजुएशन यू विल बी क्लूलेस व्हाट टू डू नेक्स्ट सो व्हेन यू विल सर्च फॉर ऑप्शंस यू विल रियलाइज दैट मोस्ट ऑफ द थिंग्स यू मस्ट हैव स्टार्टेड ड्यूरिंग योर बीएससी इटसेल्फ एंड नाउ इट्स टू लेट सो व्हाट यू विल डू you will go for the easiest option available but that is not the right approach so during bsc itself you must decide what you are going to do in future that is after bsc and prepare for it accordingly so the topic of today's video is what are the career options after bsc in mathematics that a student can opt for so we are going to talk about all those career options and how you can pursue them so without any further ado let's get started <music> option is msc if you are a student of bsc in mathematics then you can go for masters in various other subjects like msc in mathematics msc in statistics msc in operational research and even you can go for ma courses like ma in economics ma in development studies and many other courses so if you want to go in the educational field then this career option would suit you best so there might be a possibility that like earlier you were not able to get the subject of your choice or there is some other subject in which you have developed your interest during your under graduation then you can surely go for masters in those subjects as well so for admission in masters in iit iisc iisr etc you will have to give iit jan exam and for rest of the colleges you will have to give their respective entrance examinations second career option is mca Uh, so if you want to opt for a career after the completion of which you see yourself placed in IT sector then MCA is the best option for you so for having like for doing MCA one must have interest in computer based subject and also have knowledge of data structure and algorithm then uh, some computer programming languages like C++ Java etc because not much knowledge of computer science is required to clear the entrance examination but after getting admission into MCA you will be competing with the students who have already done their BCA or BTech so if you are ready to put in your extra efforts then MCA is the best career option for having placements after MCA now uh, for mca student usually give nimset exam that is specifically for nits and there are two other colleges which have good placement opportunities after mca and those are jnu and bhu so uh, i have made a separate video for comparing the msc in mathematics and mca so you can see the link of it in the description box and also on the top so you can go and have a look the next career option is mba so mba attract students from every field so even if you are a bsc in mathematics student you can go for mba so if you are fancied about the corporate world then choosing the business administration as your master subject it will be a very good idea if you are good in subjects like uh, quantitative aptitude logical reasoning english then getting a good college for mba would not be a great deal for you so for getting into mba college you will have to clear exams like cat snap zat and met etc like these are exams for different different colleges you will have to clear those but it's very important to do your mba from a prestigious college like iim xlri or uh, mdi etc because if you want to grab a good package then doing mba from these colleges is good because there are various other college for mba but not all provide good placements to the students and yes there are various specializations in mba you can choose any of them like there is uh, marketing there is finance so there are various other options available for you so after completing your bsc in mathematics you are eligible to sit for almost all the government job exams like uh, upsc ssc state pcs and even in indian defense and banking is also a sector which employs students after completing their bsc and for getting a uh, job in the banking sector you have to clear IBPS exam uh, those like SBI and RBI have their separate exams so if you are looking for a reputable job after completing your undergraduate then going for government job is one of the very good idea 
though the number of students applying in these jobs are much more but your upper hand in subject maths will help you in ace the exam in a better way the next career option is actuarial science if you know nothing about actuarial science then in layman terms actuarial science basically means risk calculation okay now uh, if you are not scared of huge amount of data and you are ready to analyze and scrutinize and you are ready to calculate the risk in the financial plans then becoming an actuary would suit you the best so in order to go in this field one must have an in depth understanding of subjects like statistics probability mathematics and finance in order to ace in this field so um, there are many levels which you have to clear during the tenure of this course but after completing a specific number of levels you will be able to get a job and side by side with your job you can like complete the rest of the levels and increase your package so this is indeed a very good option and it is also very demanding right now so being a bsc in mathematics graduate you are also eligible for various private sector jobs even some of the reputed colleges offer campus placements to the students after completing their bsc in mathematics and you can get private jobs in uh, the field of business analyst data analyst then operation analyst project development investment and much more one more important thing to notice here is if during your bsc in mathematics itself you get command of some of the computer based subjects like one of the computer language then subject like data structure and algorithm then you can also get placed as a software developer in some top nnc the next career option is chartered accountant CA is considered as one of the highest paying career professionals in India but the path to become CA is very challenging but it is very promising as well so if you are interested in subject like accounting and taxation then CA is a good career option for you so the entire CA course is about 5 years so if you are ready to become a CA then you must prepare yourself to devote this much time to your education so for uh, getting into ca you will initially have to clear a common proficiency test that is cpt in order to get into this field so guys i have tried to explain most of the famous career options that are available for a bsc in mathematics student so don't wait for bsc to get over during a bsc itself side by side decide what you want to do and prepare for it within time So guys this is all for this video if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more such videos in future see you in the next one